Hello you guys and welcome to today's video. Welcome to my channel if you are new here. If you're not, if you're an OG, then welcome back. But today I'm doing a chit chat. Get ready with me. I'm literally getting ready for the night and I was like, I wanna do kind of like a little Q&A because I know there are some questions that some of you guys have been wanting to know. And so I kind of chat through doing my makeup. It's I think a pretty quick video from what it seemed like it felt like I got through my makeup pretty pretty fast but I do show you how I get this look right here I show you the earrings not my hair I, I kind of talk about that when I get to the hair portion but I do show you the whole makeup look where I got my earrings from what fragrance I'm wearing for the night and all of that so I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get into it okay so I already have my eyebrows done I did them off camera because if not I'm gonna be walking out of here looking crazy because I can never do my eyebrows on camera. I don't know what it is, but I am gonna do eyeshadow for today, but I'm gonna keep it pretty simple. I need to wash my makeup brushes because I don't have a lot of them. I'm gonna keep it pretty simple because I don't really do eyeshadow, much eyeshadow nowadays to begin with. So for my eyes, I'm gonna use this ColourPop Nude Mood Palette. When I do eyeshadow, I usually do something like this, I just keep it neutral. For the questions, I'm gonna start from the bottom and then work my way up. So one of the first questions says, uh, what's something that you wanna accomplish this year? I think a lot of the goals that I have set for myself this year are goals that I, well, in general, honestly, when it comes to my goals, I don't really share a lot of specifics until I'm close to reaching it or until I'm about to reach it. I have quite a few goals set for myself. Of course, one of the goals would be to grow on here and continue to grow and finally hit 300K. We're like right, right there. I feel like from when I started my channel up until like 100K, it like happened super quick. And then from 100K to 200K, it happened really quick. And for some reason, going from 200K to 300, 300K, it just seems like it's taken so long. <laughs> I don't know why. But um, yeah, definitely finally hitting 300K, growing on my Instagram. I feel like I always say that and I always am striving for that, but I just can never fully like I don't know what it is that I can't really grasp a whole lot when it comes to Instagram. I want to expand the type of content that I post on there and not just limit it to like a bunch of home stuff because I feel like at first it was more me posting a lot of makeup stuff and then now I'm transitioning to more home stuff but I want to uh, find a good balance between all the different aspects of my life and just be more willing to take photos anywhere that I am and just keeping it very like realistic and stuff and not so perfect and produced all the time I feel like I overthink it when it comes to my like Instagram so um I would say like you know some those are a few of the things that I'm like open to sharing because they're a little bit more general dealing with friends stuck in their ways slash not trying to grow i would say first try to help a sister out like try to you know be encouraging and try to be there i know you're probably asking this because you're coming from a place where you've already been there done that and you've tried to express to them like hey you should definitely try to like grow or do this or you know whatever the case may be and I know, you know, you kind of get to a point where you're like, okay, I can't really keep telling them and telling them and telling them. So first and foremost, I would say to be supportive in the process and to communicate, you know, just like with relationships, um, in friendships and in other relationships, family, coworkers, whatever, communication is so key. So just talk to them, be encouraging. And if you get to a point where you're like, okay, I feel like I can't really get to them, you honestly just gotta let them be. Some people learn best when they make mistakes, when they go through things. I've been there, done that, where, you know, somebody tells me, oh, this, 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 or tells me over and over and over, and I don't listen or I don't think it's, 
the right way for me in that moment and then I go through something and then I'm like oh that makes sense this is why I should have listened to what you were saying or I should have done that but I had to learn in my own way so sometimes the stubborn in us okay is just not gonna let us live until we go through something and we're like oh wait that actually makes sense and now what you were saying to me I should have listened to. I would say that's probably the best advice I could give because if somebody doesn't want to do something, they're not going to want to do it, period. They're not going to want to do it until they want to do it. And you're going to seem, to them, you're going to seem like you're nagging or you're just being on their head or whatever the case may be. So sometimes you just got to let it rock. Let them experience it for themselves. Of course, if they fall back or if they are going through that situation where they're like, oh, you were right. You don't have to be like, see, I told you, da 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 just be supportive and just be like, yeah, you know, I was trying to tell you, but I didn't want to push you to do it. And now, you know, for my eyeshadow, I think I'm just going to keep the crease at these two colors right here. And then my lid do that middle one because I don't I don't want to add a whole lot of smokiness to my eyes. That's all I'm going to do with the eyes. Just keep it subtle and simple um so the next question this is a question i've been getting pretty often and that's about the podcast if i'm gonna go back to doing the podcast on my own and all of that stuff and i don't know i kind of go back and forth with it i'm kind of like i want to but then i'm not sure about it and right now like i said in the beginning i think i want to focus a little bit more on this channel and on my instagram and like heavily dive into it because having a whole different platform another platform another channel on my own is like a lot and right now i'm finding myself juggling a little bit so if i do start the podcast it's going to be in a time where i'm like okay i feel like i got the hang of all these different things that i'm doing and then i can kind of add this in since i will be doing it pretty much completely on my own because having having multiple channels having multiple social media things going on is a lot and I don't want to start getting inconsistent in what I do right now as a matter of a fact I'm right now kind of having a little bit of a hard time being as consistent sometimes so I don't want to dive into doing a whole nother channel if I'm finding it hard to kind of find a schedule find a balance with what I'm doing right now if that makes sense but when I get to that space you know what I'm saying I I of course will let you guys know I think I will probably end up keeping that same channel same name same everything because that that originated from like i just kind of randomly came up with that and i really really like it so i might end up just keeping like soul talk and just doing my own thing on there i don't know i'm kind of like back and forth with it for my foundation i'm kind of between two my girlfriend put me onto this one bobby brown we actually went foundation shopping and she tried it on her skin and it looks so good. And so I picked up my shade and I also have the All Hours by YSL, which is this one right here. I think for today, I'm kind of, kind of leaning more towards Bobbi Brown, I think. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Yeah, I think I'll do that. And I use the shade N052 Natural. This has nice coverage too. I honestly never would have thought to pick up this foundation if it wasn't for her. Like, it just looked so good on her skin. Hopefully it looks good in, in photos too because I know we're gonna be taking pictures and stuff. All right, so let's keep going. The question that like I know everybody wants to, or most people probably want me to answer, want me to know about, I'm like, let me just, talk about it in the beginning of this video so we can move on and that is if i am in a relationship if i'm single like what's the deal what's going on um i did post a life update video uh, back in late october early november and once the video was up for a little bit i took it down because it was one of those things where i was like i just want to let everybody know what's not what's going on, but my relationship status, we're no longer together. And um, so I had put the video up and then I took it down because I was like, cool, like most people probably saw it. Let's move on from there. But a lot of people obviously don't, you know, watch YouTube videos often or take time off of social media or didn't get to watch it or whatever the case may be. So I'm still getting the questions of like, 
are you single? Wasn't this going on? Wasn't that going on? I thought you were in a relationship. And no, I'm not in a relationship anymore, you guys. And I haven't been um, pretty much since then. It's just, it's just what it is. And um, obviously when it comes to relationships and what I share, what a lot of people share and don't share, you know, everybody has their boundaries, whether good or bad. I have boundaries for both. There are a lot of good things that have happened in my relationships that I don't share because it's a boundary that I have and I keep it to myself. And there are a lot of bad things. When I say good, I mean, you know, when it comes to people's perceptions on relationships and what's good and bad and all that stuff. But when it comes to the bad stuff, there are certain boundaries that I have and things that I don't share with that either. So I literally got somebody asking me on here, like, why didn't you share what happened in your relationship or i wish i could find the question there's so many questions but somebody asked like why wouldn't you share the details of what happened in your relationship and it's like i don't think a lot of people do that like most people don't share that and that's i think what happens or i know what happens is that we share certain parts of certain friendships and relationships and people get emotionally invested but it's one thing to watch somebody and be like, oh my gosh, like I am so inspired by their home or their relationship or their family or their friendship or their makeup, whatever. It's one thing to be like that and another thing to feel entitled to know details about somebody's life that they're not willing to share. That to me is a lot and I have never expected any of the influencers that I like to follow, I've never expected them to give me an explanation as to why things in their life happen. Like you wouldn't catch me in somebody's DM saying, why didn't you come on here and tell me about this, this and that. That to me is like way too much. And it's a privilege for me to know the details that they have decided to share. So with that being said, no, I'm not in a relationship and a lot of the other questions that I have been getting have been very, it kind of makes me feel like a lot of people feel that when you're going through a breakup or when you're going through certain things and, or you call something off or whatever, that it's like the end of the world because people have asked like, how are you healing? And like, how are you doing so good? Or how are you really feeling? Or what are you doing right now being lonely or living by yourself? And a lot of questions I know are just genuine, like just wanting to know how things are going, but it also feels kind of like, well, I'm doing fine. Like I've been doing fine, of course. That's not to say that I haven't had moments where I'm just like, why did this happen? Like, what's the lesson behind this? And had my moments and had my days, but at the same time, I'm not gonna not move forward in my life. I'm still gonna enjoy my apartment. I'm still going to enjoy my family and my gatherings and do my thing and also with the healing part because that was also a top question for some people it takes a really long time and some people it doesn't for some people they feel good and then a few weeks or a few months later they're like okay i'm not okay and that's completely okay there is no one way to heal from anything it's different for everybody so if you're going through anything where you're finding yourself trying to heal take your time spend time with yourself and realize what your triggers are and what makes you feel a lot better for me it's like family like being around my family on and that's the main reason why i've been able to be so okay is because i have a support system it is okay to have to rely on people sometimes and not be so closed off and feel like you have to keep your emotions to yourself or your thoughts or your feelings to yourself there's therapy there's family friends there's co-workers there the women at the nail shop there's like so many different people that are willing to listen if you let them of course you don't want to go telling your business to like everybody and i totally get that too but you know, just take your time. Kind of tying in with what I was saying about like, you know, when you go through a breakup or something, like it almost seems like it's the end of the world. <laughs> this is a question kind of that ties with that. And I know it's probably just a genuine question, but it says if 
I would ever be willing to have children on my own, like just me by myself. And I'm not, <laughs> I'm not at that point yet where I'm thinking about that whatsoever. I am still young and I'm not trying to jump the gun <laughs> with that kind of stuff. I don't feel like my clock is ticking or like, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm panicking. I need to find a way to have these kids. Like I'm not by any means there yet. I'm only 28 years old. I still have time. I still have all of that. I know my person's going to come and I know it's going to be worth it when that day does come for me, but it just hasn't happened for me yet. So to answer your question, I'm not thinking about that right now. I'm not thinking about that yet. I'm just trying to uh, take it day by day and see what happens. So for my concealer, I used the Too Faced Born This Way in Natural Beige. And for cream contour, I'm using this Hourglass Foundation Stick in Warm Almond. I'm just gonna do a little bit because this thing is pigmented and I kind of have to hurry up because I have to go pick up my sister from work after this. Yeah, this is a little too warm. How would you describe this season that you're in? So I think this season, it's feeling like me season. <laughs> no, I think this season in my life is just a learning season. It's one of those seasons where I'm really sitting down and thinking about, okay, what is it that I want to bring to the table for myself now that I'm living on my own and everything like that. Just having my own space from scratch, just learning my new space, knowing the things that I like, don't like, and spending a lot of time with my loved ones, having fun, working on my health, working out, doing the things that I wanna do and that I love. It's really just feeling like a season where I am taking things slow, having fun, enjoying whatever company comes my way, friendships, girlfriends, family, anything, and just taking my time, having fun with it, I think, you know, it's very easy. All right, it could be very easy for me to get in this phase where I'm like, I don't feel like doing nothing. I don't feel like talking to nobody. I don't feel like, and it's, mm -mm. I'm not really there, honestly. I'm not going to stop my life, although it is hard and I have had hard moments. I'm, you know, I, I just can't. There's a lot of stuff that can still be, celebrated and I'm just kind of running with that um okay for blush this is the liquid blush from rare beauty in bliss I just want to do a tiny this ties in a little bit with my eyeshadow not really but a little bit what do you consider moving out of California so Old Sabrina, which Old Sabrina was like not even that long ago. Old Sabrina would have said, yeah, for sure, absolutely. I'm trying to move here, here, and here. Now I'm, I don't know. I kind of go back and forth with it. And the only reason why I say that is because before I moved back to like the LA County, I was living further out. I was living about 40 minutes away. And I loved, 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 loved where I lived. It was like suburbs, very pretty, fresh air, greenery, very nice people. I can walk around outside and feel completely comfortable in my neighborhood and like all of that stuff. It was like everything, but it was 40 minutes away from my family. And that was hard, of course, when I got out of being in a relationship. When I was in a relationship, it was different because you know you have that other person, you have a little bit of company, and it's just, I don't know if I would do it on my own, especially moving out of state. And so it really, right now, I wanna say no. Definitely wanna say no, but who knows what the future would bring. I just think that if I were to do it, I would do it when I'm settled and I have like a f an actual full on family of my own and I'm trying to see what's more beneficial for my family and things like that. But right now that it's just me, you know, and I'm just responsible for myself for the most part, 
I'm kind of fine where I'm at. So I don't know. We'll, like I said, who knows what the future holds. But for now, I'm going to try to just do a lot of traveling <laughs> in other states and in other cities and all of that. But moving, moving, I don't see myself moving as of right now because my family, my family, my family. Okay, tips on filming good reels. I'm trying to get better at it. Do you prefer your phone or your Canon? So my camera, honestly, the one that I'm using right now is the Canon 90D. And I love this camera as far as, sorry about that. I love this camera as far as quality, but I am a simple girl through and through when it comes to so many different things, especially when it comes to my content. I just stick to what works and I try not to go outside of that. So my Canon camera, I pull it out every once in a while when I'm trying to have really good quality and all of that, but it's just a little bit more of a hassle than just picking up my phone and recording when it comes to Instagram reels. So I mainly just use my phone, to be honest. I use the, was this the front camera, back camera? I don't know. I use this camera here, not the one in the front because I feel like the quality isn't as good. And I kind of switch between using just the regular video or sometimes I'll go on cinematic mode. Sometimes I'll zoom in. Like I just kind of play with the video features that are on the iPhone. I have the iPhone 13 Pro, not the Max, just the Pro. And I freaking love it for video and for photos and for all of that, I will say they killed the game with it for that. My Canon camera, this is the first time I'm pulling it out since moving here. Like I have not used my camera, this one right here for anything. I will either use my phone or for my vlogs, I use my Canon G7X aside from that. Mm -mm, because it's, it's too much. And even when I edit my stuff, I use iMovie. If I have to use Final Cut Pro, I will, but I try my best to not even have to open it because it's just overwhelming and it gets me in this space of not even wanting to really edit much because it's just like one step after the other after the other and it's, I try to keep it minimal. What's one thing you wish someone would have told you when you first started YouTube? Hi cousin. <laughs> so one thing I wish Oh, that's a good question. That's a kind of deep question. One thing I wish somebody would have told me when I first started my YouTube channel, be patient, first of all, because time is so, 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 so key when it comes to YouTube. It's just patience, consistency, and time. So just be patient. And the other thing I would say is you are not for everybody. And this is good advice for YouTube, for real life. Just you are not for everybody. And that is totally okay. Now, I wouldn't say I had a hard time with this, but that's just good advice that I wish somebody would have told me ahead. So that when I did have those days, I wasn't so like, dang, why do people think this or whatever the case may be? Or am I doing this the right way or whatever? And it's like, yeah, you are. There's no wrong or right, right way to do this. It's just, you're not for everybody. And that's totally okay. There's somebody on this platform for everybody, but no one person is gonna be perfect for every single person that is on this platform, so. I guess that would be one of the things that I would say. Do you ever get angry? If so, how do you calm down? You seem so chill. I do, I have, I mean, I'm human, but I don't, obviously I'm not gonna come on here and like be like, I'm upset right now, you guys, and like go off. <laughs> but yeah, I do, I do have moments where I get upset. I just, nowadays I think I am more so, and I've always more so been more of an emotional, angry person. Like if I'm upset about something, I, hold back tears or I almost want to cry because I'm so upset but angry to the point where I'm like cussing somebody out I'm like no it's more so just emotional like in an emotional way do you plan on getting any plastic surgery y'all sorry I'm, I'm holding this right here because the light on this side is really bright and I can hardly see but no I do not want to touch my body no more I am just I don't want to talk about it I don't want to talk about it. I'm mm -mm. 
I don't plan on it. I don't, I'm not interested. No, 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 no. It's just the feelings that I felt and like, uh-uh. The pain and the different stuff, I just do not know. For my makeup, I think I wanna keep it pretty much at this and then do my lip color in a bit. I wanna put a little bit more blush though. I'm gonna do, my blush by the way was, so I wasn't even telling you guys. So bronzer was MAC Give Me Sun. Uh, this is a mineralized skin finish. And then my blush was the velvet blush from Patrick Ta and she's adorable. And then I wanna put a little bit more. This is MAC Gingerly. It's a little more of like a neutral blush. Cause I, right now for daytime, it's kind of like a lot, but where I'm going, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be indoors and um, kind of dark, so want my makeup to obviously show. Um, I'm hella introverted, in a new city alone, no friends, fam, partner. How do I make friends? Go places. I, I think a lot of people are afraid to do things on their own. And even when I was in a relationship, I would do a lot of things on my own. I would go on solo lunch dates. I would go shopping by myself. Like I highly recommend whether you're in a relationship or not to still go out and do things that you would do if you did have people around. And you might run into somebody at a coffee shop or at a restaurant and start chatting and just be open to having conversations. I know sometimes you may want to go to like a coffee shop or to a restaurant and just kind of sit and be on your phone but sometimes talk to the waitress or to the waiter or talk to the whoever's kind of like around the bar area sitting at the bar as well like a lot of people there sometimes go on their lunch breaks and they're just kind of chilling there by themselves too or you can talk to the waitresses there as well so not only going to places on your own that you would go to with other people but being open to actually talking to people and not just being to yourself because that's gonna be counterproductive and that's not gonna be helpful. You obviously wanna be like open to having conversation and stuff. All right, so my makeup's pretty much done. I am gonna do my lip color once my hair is done. I'm gonna try to do it really, really quick because I'm in a rush now. But as far as my makeup goes, this is how it turned out. My eyes are very simple. Like I said, I'll show you guys what my lip combo is once I um, get this hair done. Okay, I just changed into my dress. I will most likely insert a picture at the end or in the thumbnail of like my whole entire look, but I'll just give you guys kind of a look here. This is the dress that I'm wearing. This dress I got it from a boutique called Lilyful. I don't think they have an online website. I literally bought it in store, but it's this really pretty uh, silky beigey dress and it kind of goes down to my ankles. So that is the dress that I'm wearing for tonight. And then for my lip combo, I'm kind of gonna do what I've been doing as of lately, which is this uh, NYX lingerie push-up in Teddy. So I use this as a lip pencil or a lip liner it's like this dark brown i kind of like this but my lip color is still peeking through a little so mm, i don't know i kind of like it so just to mute my lip color a little bit i'm gonna use stunna lip paint from fenty in unbutton which is just this really pretty peachy nude just like a dot or two since I shared my outfits. I didn't do my hair. Honestly, my hair, I did my L'Oreal Steam Pod yesterday on my hair, which I have a full video on that already. And this is how my hair looks day after, like once it's kind of fallen a little. I might touch up my curls a tiny bit, maybe like in the front or add some tighter curls. But for the most part, I wanna go for like the bombshell really effortless undone look kind of thing by the way if you guys see this band-aid it's because i took my uh birth control out 
sister's trying to get her body leveled and not trying to have i mean i didn't really have side effects from my birth control i don't think but i want to see how my body does without it like if i break out a little bit less um because i do still find that i get some breakups breakups <laughs> some breakouts on my face sometimes and on my back and stuff so i want to see if it kind of like clears up without it i don't know we'll see but if you saw the the band-aid that's what it's for i had the next on uh implant and i just took it out like a few days ago actually so i gotta wear the band-aid for a little bit but anyway and then my earrings these are earrings i got at forever 21 like a while ago but i think i'm gonna pop these babies on i have not gotten this ready for something in a minute so i feel so good i did kind of get ready well i did get ready for my birthday but i don't know i just lately i have been sticking to very basic stuff day to day and i kind of i'm excited to be getting a little more glam so yeah these earrings i got from forever 21 some time ago they're like, they're kind of heavy, but if I get annoyed of them, I can just take them off later on tonight. And then for my perfume, I just got this new one. Oh, and I'm going to take this lip gloss with me just in case. This is Full Real by Pat McGrath. Um, I think that's all I'm going to take. I don't think I need to, I usually don't really touch up my makeup and stuff anyway. But my perfume, this one I got from Zara, and I don't know what it is about this fragrance that I love. I got the small version just to kind of like try it out. It's Nuit, N-U-I-T, from Zara, Dress Time 02. It's this fragrance right here. And it smells like powdery, but fresh and sexy i don't kind of like vanilla sexy fresh and powdery is the best way that i can describe it and i really like this scent it's kind of mysterious in a way so i'm all about it so i'm just gonna uh, take that and i also have a roller ball version of this in my purse so i'm gonna take that with me too but i'm pretty much ready for the night this is the completed look right here i hope you guys enjoyed uh not even this makeup tutorial i literally just wanted to come on here and chat with you guys while doing my makeup answering a few questions there were still a, a few more questions on there quite a few more questions on there actually but i wanted to touch on the ones that i feel like most people were kind of like this is what we want to know um just to kind of clear the air a little bit and let you guys know what the deal is but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed and of course i will list all the products and the shades and the links for you guys down below to easily shop thank you guys for tuning in i love you guys and per usual thank you guys for just riding with me and sticking with me and just everything that i've experienced within the past few years since i've been on youtube you guys have always been super supportive and super just genuine and there for me for the most part so i appreciate it so much and every single day i am so grateful for having more of a positive uplifting community on here because i know sometimes in this social media world it can kind of get ugly and for the most part knock on wood i have not had that experience on here like you guys are always so great and genuine and kind to me and it does not go unnoticed so thank you guys so much i love you guys and I will see you all in my next video.